Good morning and welcome to the channel. I'm already taking a photo from this uh, beautiful tree here. Today we are at the Kalmthausherde in Antwerp. There's still a little bit of haze in the landscape, but a little bit before this there was a lot more. And also in, in the sky it was a very soft pink orange touch. Now the colors start really popping in, into, the, into the sky, so uh, it's a very good time to make this photo. <laughs> Look at that sky, it's so beautiful already. I switched from portrait mode to landscape mode because the, the sky is really lighting up and it's stretching over the landscape. I really had to take it in landscape mode because it's so much nicer. This is great. <laughs> ah, I thought for a second the, the sun was uh, not gonna light up the sky anymore, but suddenly it popped. Woohoo! That's super amazing! I'm glad. The haze in the landscape, I hope it will stay a little bit longer, even when the sun is shining. If it stays and the, the sun starts shining into the landscape, it's gonna be magic. Everything is gonna be super soft and golden. I'm looking forward to this shoot today. I also took a photo of this tree when uh, the clouds were uh, pink with the blue sky. It's very beautiful. But uh, I'm actually here today to talk a little bit about my uh, tripod because I never talked about it. But first, we're gonna search for another composition. Then we're gonna talk a little bit how good of a tripod it is. to be super quick because the sun is rising that beautiful sun the the mist is uh whoa you guys are also in the mist that's better <laughs> what was i saying so yeah the mist is blocking uh, the the sun a little bit so the sun is super soft and i'm shooting the sun right in between those uh, trees here it's super beautiful I'm shooting this at uh, ISO 100 f9 and uh, 125 of a second. And when I'm looking at this picture on, on the back of the screen, it's like, I don't know, the vibe is like oh, super soft. It's, 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 I, whew, I cannot even explain. I have no words for it. I've put my 50 millimeters on the body for this shoot. When you have a longer focal length, the sun is also going to look a little bit uh, bigger. If you're going to shoot it with a wide angle lens, it's gonna look super small, it's gonna look like a, a small lit up dot, dot in, in, uh, on the picture, but that's not what we want. We want to see that it's a sun, so that's why I'm using the 50 millimeters. And it's also super humid outside. The lenses of the camera and also, I don't know, the 50 millimeters not uh, getting wet, so that's good. So let's talk about the tripod first before this beautiful soft light is gone and the sun is too hard to take photos. We know each other already for uh, quite some time. It's been seven years I guess that I'm using this tripod. It's a, a three-legged thing. This one is called the Travis tripod. When a tripod is folded in, 
it's uh, 45 centimeters uh, long and uh, it goes up to a meter 65 with the column totally at its uh, height. I'm a meter 74, just a little bit smaller than me. I choose this uh, tripod or uh, at least the, the brand because of the, the colors. In the beginning when they came out with those tripods, there wasn't a brand that had uh, like the orange colors and the orange tripod had the blue. So that's the original tripod head. Uh, I'm using a, a geared head. I changed the tripod head a few years back. I was doing a lot of uh, interior shoots. It was much easier when you have uh, like adjustable to the millimeter. So that's why I switched uh, the tripod head. But I'm still using this one to normally put my camera on this one because it's a lot lighter. With the ball heads, it's easy to adjust the camera a little bit. But for the rest, this tripod is super amazing. So the leg falls out super quickly because we have those uh, three knobs. What I'm always doing is I'm grabbing those knobs and turning it in one time and then you can just pull and it comes out super easy. I never had troubles with this one. You can screw it, everything out and uh, wash everything but for the last four years I didn't clean my tripod anymore and I don't have any problems at all. Sometimes I uh, take out uh, the middle column if you want to go low to the ground, you cannot do it because of the middle column. And when you want to go low to the ground, it's super easy. You have those uh, clips here. You can push it down, but it comes back in its normal position by itself. And you just have to click it. Your uh, legs are totally straight, so you can go super low to the ground. And when you fold your leg back in, you see, it clicks back. And when it clicks, you cannot fold the leg back out, so you have to use the, the clicky thing here again. You also have... a uh, a bubble level here to level your tripod. If you take a lot of uh, panoramas, it's very important that you can level your tripod. And also on the tripod head, you have also a bubble level, but that's when uh, you put your tripod head in uh, portrait mode, or maybe in this, maybe this way. If you put it this way, you can uh, also level it. But I'm using an L bracket also for a uh, three-legged thing also in the orange color. So I like the brand a lot with, the, with those colors. Recently, Tree Like a Thing also came out with uh, some dark tripods. So everything is in black. But uh, I'm a fan of the, the color tripods. I really love this uh, Travis one, but I think next year or so, I'm gonna switch to a, a bigger one. One that's uh, the same height as me or a little bit higher, I don't know. If you're doing like, I don't know, bird photography or uh, portrait photography. You can just turn off a leg and use it as a monopod. So you can uh, screw on your uh, tripod head on here, your aero head from a three-legged thing. And uh, just in a few seconds, you have a, a monopod. So that's super cool. You don't have to buy a monopod anymore. So this was very quick, my tripod and my thoughts about the tripod. Super heavy with it. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. This thing is super durable. It, it fell and it's been in the sea. It's in, in, in uh, other water and uh, it's amazing. I think we have to move on to capture a few other pictures and uh, use this thing a little bit more today. I'm standing against this uh, cool tree here, but I'm not shooting that because the composition wasn't good enough. I'm actually shooting here uh, a very young birch tree. The birch tree already gets uh, separated from the background because of the, the haze or the, the, the fog in the landscape. And with the sun shining onto the gray trunk of the tree, it really stands out from the landscape. I'm shooting this at f4.2 at uh, 328 of a second. I'm using f4 because I even want to separate it a little bit more from the background than it already is with the, with the fog. The sunlight is still super soft because of the haze in the landscape or the mist in the landscape. That makes the light on this little tree amazing. I just came across one of the best shaped trees ever that I saw, but uh, in the in the foreground of this tree, there's a a few. I guess there's there there's there. What? They're uh, small birch trees. It's very nice. This tree, 
And then with the blue sky, it's so beautiful. The light that's shining now onto that tree, it's, it's perfect with a little bit of haze in the landscape. And uh, one side is in the shadows and uh, the other side is lit by the sun. The, most of the part of the, the tree is still green, but uh, some leaves are uh, yellow. Those are, uh, yellow leaves really pop from the, from the green. And uh, then with the sunlight on it, it's, uh, it's perfect. So we have that, that beautiful uh, match of colors. You have the greens, the yellows, uh, the blue sky with the white clouds and then a little bit of uh, bluish haze in the landscape. It's, uh, it's really perfect, but uh, the sun starts to shine really hard and the haze is slowly fading away. So uh, slowly but sure we're gonna shoot one of the last images soon. And there's also a lot of people right now because uh, it's already 9 a.m. in the morning. I'm not alone anymore. It's getting hot. This morning, three hours ago, it was uh, really chilly. So I have uh, put on some layers. But now I'm starting to sweat. I'm going to look for uh, another composition, maybe the last one for this day. The haze is fading super fast now. I'm gonna create one photo or maybe two if the haze stays and I can find a cool composition. But uh, I just found a cool tree again and uh, I'm gonna do a sunburst because the, the sun is already a little bit too hard to take really beautiful photos. Maybe I just don't see it. That's, that's also a possibility. I think I'm gonna shoot this tree with a wide angle lens and a sunburst. It's going to look very cool. The Travis all the way up to shoot this photo. Got the Tokina 11 to 60 millimeters on it. Uh, shooting at uh, ISO 100 F16 to shoot uh, the sunburst. 50th of a second shutter speed. I've put my tripod all the way up because when it was a little bit lower, it was like we're shooting from very low into the tree and I didn't like it. That's why I decided to raise the tripod all the way up. So we have a little bit more of a straight line, a little bit, because it's still pointing up. The sky is uh, exposed perfectly and the uh, shadows are a little bit dark, but with the Nikon D7200 I, I can uh, bring out those shadows and uh, get that detail back. It's funny, right, how we like certain brands in our lives. I really like the tree like a thing, but probably also other brands have uh, maybe have the, the same quality. Also have very great tripods, I don't know. If you want to send me one, be my guest. <laughs> I really love the, the tree like a thing, the thought behind that uh, company. I really like it and uh, they're also funny. I wouldn't mind to test some other tripods. Go check them out, tree like a thing. A link in the description. They're not sp I'm not sponsored by tree like a thing. It's just uh, a brand that I really like. I bought the tripod with my own money. Let's see if we can uh, find another composition before we go home. I don't know if you can uh, see it with the camera here, but there's some really cool shadows going on in the haze. The light from the sun hitting the tree and the tree is making some shadows in the haze. And on the left side, we have uh, a tree with some uh, dew on the leaves, water droplets. And that's lit up from behind from the sun. I thought it was really cool what's going on here in the fog. I'm using a Tamron 72-300 ISO 100 F9 500 of a second. My camera is telling me that I'm shooting this at uh, one stop underexposed. The camera is uh, reading this a little bit wrong so that's why I bumped up the shutter speed to emphasize those shadows a little bit.
I was just thinking to end the video, but uh, I was passing this forest here and uh, the light here is very beautiful. Here, there's a small tree with uh, brown leaves on it and the sun was shining on it and uh, we got some uh, shadows in the haze and that creates for a very cool atmosphere. You got a little tree lit up by the sun, partially, and then also those light streaks in the, in the forest. That's uh, super cool. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching again. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps uh, to spread out this uh, video and build the channel. If you want to see last week's video to learn to shoot a sunburst, click here. I just want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>